Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online 23rd Century Starfleet Campaign. Today we're going to start the next mission out in the cold. The Breen have been attacking Deferi transports. And we don't quite know why. They're not military transports, they're civilian transports. So they can't be carrying anything too important. We're receiving emergency distress signal. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's assist. We saved that ship, however their sister ship is under attack. Let's beam some spare parts aboard so they can repair. Oh, there's two waves of green ships inbound.
Okay, there's some slavers in the Zarya system. And we'll continue this part of the mission. And the Breen have taken over a dilithium mine. As the enemies have gotten stronger, our Callistos have gotten less impressive. only one more squadron then we can beam down.
Alright, we're clear to beam down to the Dilithium Mine. Now, even though the Breen have some sort of transporter disruptor, we can transport down. It's just, we can't transport the prisoners up. And they're using three separate transporter disruptors. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for those. Oh, that's why we can beam down. They're specifically keyed to Deferi Physiology. Hey, it looks like I froze a couple of them. Now I gave Temet that blast assault cannon. The primary fire is a single bolt of energy. It's a bit powerful, but it only affects one target. The secondary fire on it, however, is an area of effect blast. I actually like using it quite a lot. It has a fairly high chance of knocking the target and all surrounding targets down. So it's useful against uh, captains as well. And stronger creatures. However, if someone's frozen, they can't be knocked down, which makes sense. Or at least it kind of makes sense. Now in these tight hallways, your bridge officers will try to shoot through walls. I'm not sure why. It doesn't really work out well for them. Yeah, a good tactic to use would be to outfit all of your bridge officers with uh, knockdown capable weapons. That way everyone has a chance to knock down the enemy. And it does interrupt attacks, or at least for the most part.
Okay, so that takes care of all the green in the mine. So let's disable the force field so we have a shortcut back. And that's all the disruptors and guards. And I forgot to point this out, but all the Deferi were being kept in these little cells over here. Okay, all the Deferi prisoners have transported safely. And there's Thought Trell. Oh, he's looking forward to meeting us. Now, if we can keep the green moving, they won't be able to use their more powerful attacks. However, I don't think that's possible. Okay, good. No one got blasted. So hopefully Starfleet should be able to send patrols so that the Breen won't be able to bother, defer bother the Deferi for a while. The Deferi are apparently even willing to share the resources with Starfleet, which is nice of them. Now we get a special torpedo for this. The Breen Transphasic Cluster Torpedo. Now, Transphasic Torpedoes have a higher uh, shield penetration value, so more damage will go through the shields. And the uh, cluster torpedoes, it basically launches a destructible torpedo that when it hits a ship, it won't do damage at first. Instead, it will explode into, I think, about 10 mines that, after I think about one or two seconds, will activate and then converge on the closest target. And each of those 10 mines will then damage the target, so it's quite good. And it's especially good if you have the right build for it. So we'll accept the next mission, Cold Comfort. Another distress signal, this time in the Rave system. And yet another Deferi transport. Been attacked by the Breen. But that'll have to wait till next time. Thanks for watching.